Achieving the ideal temperature for your process from your Tutco Shoreheat electric air heater requires the proper placement of the heater's thermocouple. The last thing you want is to set your temperature set point only to have your heater element fail before the display reached your target temperature. Tutco Shoreheat serpentine elements heat up fast when electricity flows through them. This speed can be great, but if not managed with proper control, it can lead to the heater's elements overshooting, heating up too much for the volume of airflow. Remember, the process temperature isn't the same as the element temperature. To control things properly, your controls need to react fast, making small adjustments to the voltage applied. This method keeps the heater temperature stable, typically within plus or minus 2 degrees. Thermocouples are the key to control. A Type K exposed tip thermocouple is best. It's fast and accurate. Place it about an inch away from where the hot air exits the heater. Don't install the process thermocouple too far down the line. You won't get responsive control due to heat loss. Follow these best practices to avoid overshoot and extend the heater's element life. Never power your heater without confirming air is flowing. Keep the heater as close as possible to where you need the heat. Put the thermocouple near the heater exit where air flows. Increase your temperature in steps or use a programmed ramp rate. Allow time for downstream equipment like piping, tooling, etc. to heat up. Insulate parts of the system being heated to minimize heat loss. Make sure your controls match the heater recommendations. If you have questions about the proper setup and control of a Tutco Shore Heat electric air heater, download quick start guides, operating manuals, and performance curves available on tutcoshoreheat.com.